I bet that there is nothing that you would rather do than cut into this cheesy, oniony zucchini bread. But first, I need to take you on the journey on how we got there. So these massive zucchini actually came from my garden, and I needed to find a way to use these up. So starting off, I'm just cutting off the two knob ends of the zucchini, cutting it in half, and then I'm going to need to remove the seeds, because as you can see, as I split it open, they're sort of green. It looks like they might start sprouting soon. So I'm just going to remove those with a spoon and put them into my composter to use later. Now, when we're using our zucchini, we can do one of two things. We can either cut it up and use it for chunks like you see here, and these chunks are great to go in smoothies as a low calorie and low sugar replacement for banana, or what we can do is we can shred the zucchini to use in breads and other things. I have a really good banana bread recipe coming on the way, which I sneak zucchini in there, just for all of our kids who don't really eat as much vegetables as they should. Uh, so after we're doing that, we're just going to shred up some cheese and then we're going to cut up some chives and onions from the garden. I really found the chives really nice because it added just like the subtle garlicky bite. But if you don't have them, you can just use regular green onions and substitute that in the recipe and you'll be fine. Now, next we are going to be preparing our dry ingredients together, which you can see on screen here. To me personally, I really love the addition of cornmeal to the bread. I just find it adds this wonderful texture to the bread. After our dry ingredients are mixed together, we are going to get our wet ingredients all in the same mixing bowl. Now the only thing is, is I would say to add the cheese a little bit later, and you'll see me do that here. I find that if you add the cheese too early, it starts to melt a little bit, and I would prefer it to melt in the oven, sort of in those bread pockets, especially when you add the melted butter. Now, this recipe makes two loaves, uh, and you'll see here that I have actually doubled the recipe once I stick it in the oven, and that is because I wanted to try a separate set of loaves with some yeast in it, and I found it didn't really make that much of a difference, because there wasn't enough of a gluten structure really in the bread for the dough to rise, so don't worry about adding yeast to it, I've already recipe tested that, but yeah, honestly this bread is absolutely delicious, and we're just going to mix these together. Honestly, it takes about five minutes for those wet and dry mixtures to come together and make this sort of like gluey mixture. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to let that sit for 20 minutes and you're going to pop it into a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour. And you're going to do that until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. So don't turn your oven off after the 60 minutes in case you need to stick it back in there for an extra five or so. And you'll see here that after it's done, we're just going to top it with some extra cheese and a little bit of chives just for some presentation. We're going to turn it out onto a cooling rack and then we're going to cut into it. Remember, if you enjoy this recipe, like and subscribe and tell me how it turned out if you made it yourself. Enjoy everyone!